And we are joined now in the studio by Alex Novikov, assistant professor of history at Fordham University in the United States and a visiting fellow at the American Academy in Berlin. He's written extensively about historical styles of debate, and he joins me now. So tell us, how important are debates like these in influencing the way that people vote? Because that's really the bottom line, isn't it? It is. Debates have been with us for a very, very long time, ever since ancient times. Um, and they're a very important part of American political discourse, obviously. Uh, it's an opportunity to see what people think about an issue, and it's also an opportunity to see how they perform and how they interact with each other. Uh, so I think it's a very important part of our political discourse. Let's talk a little bit about the interaction between the two candidates. They're not even shaking hands anymore. Yeah. It's, it's really gotten to quite a dire level in terms of even their body language, the mudslinging. Right. Have we ever seen anything like this before? Um, I don't recall this in modern American political discourse, uh, but in some sense, I would say it also reflects the reality TV world that we live in today. I mean, it's almost um, like watching Nickelodeon and Desperate Housewives clash, um, uh, collide, sorry, on uh, the high stage of political discourse. Uh, so some of it is very petulant. Uh, some of it is mudslinging, as you say. Um, I think they're each trying to be as provocative as they can, Trump in particular, uh, and that plays well to certain um, quarters and certain crowds. At their core, these kinds of debates, they're supposed to be a way for the voters to find out a little bit more about policy. Yeah. Do they actually achieve that, though? Well, the purpose of debate has always been to try to get at truth, to try to arrive at a deeper truth. Um, and I think in a certain sense, we do. I think we get to see what their positions are and what they prioritize, particularly in terms of U.S. interactions with the rest of the world. Uh, but it's also an opportunity just to see how they interact with each other, how they perform, how they uh, handle themselves on the spot, on the question. Um, and that can be very influential for U.S. voters, I think. How often is what they say really implemented as policy, though, especially in the United States? What is the track record on that? Yeah, it's a lot of talk at the times of um, uh, debates. And then, as is usually the case, only a small percentage of it actually gets uh, implemented. Uh, but that's sort of characteristic of what debates are for, too. You're just trying to hit a lot of points, um, only a few of which may ever get fully implemented. Which debate in this cycle do you think was the most important? Um, in many ways, the second one I thought was the most dramatic. I think that was the one in which we really saw the most about the different characters. Uh, it was a real clash of opposites between Trump, the unpredictable showman, the reality TV star, and uh, Clinton, the measured lawyer, um, being very careful with her words and almost baiting, I think, Trump into uh, making certain moves that made him look worse. So I think we learned a lot about both characters, especially in that second debate. As a scholar of debates, if you're looking at this now 10, 20 years from now, how do you think that these series of debates go down in history yeah. in this particular election cycle? Uh, well, historians make poor profits, um, but uh, I think we've certainly um, hit a new benchmark in terms of, uh, not a good one either, um, in terms of what is permissible to say um, and what's permissible to bring up, um, how to behave with uh, in the company of a moderator and the company of an opponent. Um, so we'll see what that means. But um, I sort of suspect uh, we're going to be in for more of the same. Alex Novikov, assistant professor of history at Fordham University in the United States and a visiting fellow at the American Academy in Berlin. Thank you very much for your perspective. Thank you.